What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Teddy Atlas. Teddy Atlas reveals that Joe Joyce looked like a shot fighter last night. He said that Joe Joyce, of course, is the younger guy, but he has more miles on him than Zhang. Zhang is three years older or two years older, because I think Joe now is 38. And he said, just you don't uh, measure a fighter by his age, you measure him by the amount of damage he's taken, and which I believe. And um, also, he was a guy that got hit a lot. You can't get hit too much. He has a great chin. He can punch. But eventually, it's going to catch up with you. And uh, that Zili Zhang showed you the result of having too many punches on your... Um, on your record to your chin that eventually you know your chin is going to give out and he said he looked like a shot fighter he looked like he was shot he looked like he shouldn't have been in there and he's taken too much punishment and i think zili zhang you know was fresher of the two and that's the result of joe joyce uh getting knocked out because of the way that he was accustomed to getting punched and let me counterpunch Teddy Atlas. You know, a man coming from age 22 to 38, that's 16 years. This man has been a pro 16 years with fucking 17 pro fights. I don't know how or what he was really doing in between time. Um, he is, he is a unit. Joe Joyce is a kind of a different kind of cat, you know, a Shaolin monk, and he's done a lot of things in his life, you know, martial arts and stuff like that. And um, I think Eddie Hearn said something similar to this when Joe Joyce got beat the first time. And he was like, you know, a guy like that with the style that he has, he's good to watch, but no, he's not going to win any title against somebody that knows how to box, you know, and that knows, you know, that particular style. You know, based on the way he fights, his his long jeopardy is not promised. And it's true. And it's like, basically, we're looking at a bigger, browner version of Adam Kalnaki just with hair and um, probably a bigger punch. Same shit. Those guys like that, they only are going to last so long. They're going to make their buzz because the offense, you know, they have is constant, okay? Okay. And their constant attack to you puts normal fighters or or average fighters on the back foot, and expect, and, and then eventually you he wears them down. But in some cases, like Zili Zhang, Zhang has probably got to a point where he knows that he it's an urgency to knock out these guys. Zhang was the other guy that was avoided too, so he was that sleeping giant type guy, like Hergovic was. And you know, the fight with Hergovic, I think, was um, helped Zili Zhang fight harder. I think he needed to change up shit, especially getting older. Like, let's do stuff differently because I'm getting older and I need to reserve more. And I think you guys may think I'm crazy. Again, I think that Hergovic decision loss encouraged Zhang to be more tough, to be more aggressive, and to get the job done quicker. Okay, And that might have happened, and that might have helped Zhang in these two fights. He knew, I got to get somebody like Joe Joyce out. I know if I want to get known, I got to take on a guy that's chin made of stone bars. I have to do this. And I think he did that. I think... You know, that was uh, a choice that he decided to make him in, uh, is it Sean George, his trainer? You know, hey, credit to those guys. I don't think those guys get enough credit for doing what they did uh, to uh, in, in um, preparing uh, Zhang for the Big Bang, okay? And uh, that is right. I think a lot of fighters... You know, they get hit way too much. You look at guys like James Kirkland. You know, I think James Kirkland, he's, you know, not you're not meant to get hit in the head, bro. That's not natural. It's common, but it's not natural. <laughs> and boxing, you know, I mean, it's not a good thing. You know, so it's not ideal. But I do agree with uh, Teddy Atlas. I think that Joe Joyce, 
you know, is one of those guys, you know, with, you know, I think at this point they have to match him better. They can't gung ho and just take off and fight everybody because guys like counter punchers are going to give them problems, especially if they can box, especially if they can hit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, they're going to give Joe problems. Joe looked indestructible a year ago. What well, what a difference a year makes shit. What a difference like eight months makes, you know what I mean? So before then he was undefeated. And he was just chopping guys down. Just push, push, push. Hit me here. Push. He was just, you know, walking through guys, eating guys' punches. You can't do that shit all the time. And this is the result of that. But you guys tell me what you think of Teddy Atlas stating that Joe Joyce looked like a shot fighter last night after his horrific KO loss to Zili Zhang. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.